Yeah, that is Coors, the banquet beer. I need to try and say it like Sam Elliott. <clears throat> Give me a sec here. Coors, the banquet beer. Yeah, I think that sounds just like Sam Elliott. Brewed in uh, Golden, Colorado, right? Yeah, Golden, Colorado since 1873. Yep. Rocky Mountain Water. It's probably not, I mean, it's probably Rocky Mountain Water, but I doubt they're getting it right out of the stream. I bet you they're like, bottling it and bringing it into the factory or whatever. I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what these little lions on the thing. They're like little Spanish lions. See them right there? Like, those weren't on Coors until like a few years ago. I don't know what the hell who decided to put that on. I guess they thought just having the banquet on it by itself. I've always liked this Coors picture though. Uh, the one with the mountain and the stream and everything. I guess there's a bigger one over here. I, I've always really liked that. I like I like Coors, the, the cursive on it. Coors is really good. Uh, it's a little expensive. It's like 50 cents more than Rainier. But whatever. Uh, it's been a little while since I made a video. I've been real busy lately. I've been doing other things. Uh, I went to Green Bay, like I said. Uh, maybe it hasn't been that long, actually. I think it's only been like a week. Huh. But anyways, I went down to Locals yesterday. I played some Thursday Night Yu-Gi-Oh! action. I went undisputed, undefeated again. That's back-to-back -back tournaments I've gone to where I've gone 4-0. And uh, tomorrow is the uh, OTS for Shane's Big League Sports Cards and more. So I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that uh, I can, uh, some of this luck, this 8-0 streak I'm on will continue into the OTS. Top four again, an invite. Hoping I get on one of those top four. Uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite came out. As some of you know, I'm a big fighting game fan. Uh, is it any good? Yeah, it's a fine game. Is it better than Marvel's Capcom 3? No. Uh, is Marvel's Capcom 3 a great game? No. Uh, so, to me, I've never been a big fan of the Versus series. In any of the Versus, even Tatsunoko vs. Capcom and Capcom vs. SNK. Or SNK vs. Capcom, you know, I can't remember what order those went. But, uh, you know, I'm just not a big fan of the Versus series, and this one is just one of the few fighting games I can ever say that it just it doesn't look good. I don't mean it's hideous, but there's no interesting art style to it. Most fighting games, even if the graphics aren't good, which, let's be honest, I'm not a big person to graphics, I don't really care about the graphics of the game a lot of times. Uh, but it's got to have a unique art style, and I just don't think Marvel's Capcom Infinite has that. It's just, it's so blah looking. I mean, some of the characters look really good, like Jetta. Jetta is an amazing addition to the game. Uh, I really like his play style. I have not seen Jetta since, like, 1997. I mean, Darkstalkers 3 was, god damn, that's over 20 years ago. But I was, like, amazed that Jetta made it in. I don't know who in Japan decided to put Jetta in, but good for them. The Marvel side of the cast is awful. There's no X-Men. Uh, personally, I don't think this game should have ever been made, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, because Capcom must have gone in knowing that there was going to be no X-Men or Fantastic Four characters from Marvel, so they should have just said, sorry, Marvel, Disney, we can't do this without X-Men characters. X-Men, it makes up the bulk of the Marvel side of the roster. In fact, just in Marvel's Capcom 3, I believe X-Men, there were five X-Men characters. The roster's extremely boring. Uh, there's no way to get around it. Capcom always tries to pick up the slack, in my opinion, in these Marvel's Capcom games. Um, the music's awful, at least for the Marvel side. Marvel wanted to not have the Capcom themes that have been traditionally used for the Marvel characters since 1998. And they went for the Marvel Cinematic Universe theme score, and it was it's awful. It doesn't fit the game at all. It, it sounds so gross. It's so disgusting sounding. The, the Capcom themes for their characters are okay. They're not great. Uh, the only ones I actually really like are Ryu, Chun-Li, and Jetta, which, of course, they're all from actual fighting games in, Marvel, in, in Capcom. A lot of the Capcom characters don't know what the hell they're in there for. Frank West and Spencer, what the fuck are they doing in there for? They've only been in, like, well, Frank West's been in a few games, but Spencer's been in one game in the last, besides Marvel's Capcom 3, he's been in one game in the last ten years. Uh, they should have brought Captain Commando back. I, I would much been I've been a lot happier for Captain Commando. 
I don't know what the hell Capcom did. They should have put in a really hot roster on their side. So you know what? We're going to bring Captain Commando. We're going to bring Asura. We're going to bring Batsu. We're going to bring all these cool Capcom characters. There have been a very few Capcom games that deserve to be in a Capcom versus Marvel. Or Marvel vs. Capcom, however you want to say it. Since Marvel is obviously going to have problems. The DLC characters, for whatever reason, Capcom's only getting two and Marvel's getting four. The two Capcom characters, Sigma and Monster Hunter, both look pretty cool. The four damn Marvel characters... Black Panther, Venom, Winter Soldier, and Black Widow look bad, except Venom. Venom could be pretty good. But Black Widow, I was so depressed when I heard about that. I was like, you got to be kidding me, Black Widow. But anyways, guys, so Marvel's Capcom Infinite, is it a good game? Yeah, I mean, it plays well. When I play that on online, it plays good. It feels like a fighting game. Is it great? No. I mean, it's not Street Fighter. I, I love one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not into team games. But, uh... It's fun, but disappointing, you know, and the whole thing was you knew we're going to, you, we all knew it was going to be kind of sad and disappointing the entire time it was in development, and it really didn't change. I can tell you I got the huge collector's box for it, and I burned that box, and I took the stuff out, obviously, but I, I put the foam back in the box, and the foam that held the stuff together, I got the four statues, I got these ugly infinity stones, they're just so gross. I burned that box with the foam in it, and it was like throwing a tire into a fire. It burned for like hours. Like I, clearly that foam was not normal foam from China. So guys, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, it's all right. I play a lot of matches already. I play like three hundred matches, and I think I'm done. I'll play it once in a while still. So what I'm here for? What am I here for? You might be asking. I want to. I want to see some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Well, here we go. I went down to my local Walmart. What was I getting there? Oh, I got a new work shirt. I got a new shirt that I wear at, at the factory to keep my try and keep my regular clothes more clean from the oil and the grease and the lubricants and, and, and fumes, chemicals. So I got a new one. The last shirt I had lasted me six years. I'm hoping this one will last me another six years. Well, it's only 20 bucks, so 20 bucks for six years is a pretty good deal. Uh, so I went down there and I said, fuck it, let's pick up some blister packs. So I did. I got a whole haul here. So, uh, let's go through what I got here. I got, uh, oh, I believe this is 10 packs of Maximum Crisis. The ban list came out. Man, things got smashed. Uh, by the way, I'm 8 no with ABC. Uh, we're just running pure ABC, no Brilliant Fusion Engine, no nothing. So, hopefully I'll get a Dargonic Diagram. It's still packing about 40 bucks. So, I'd like to get one of those out of here. Oh, an Ash Blossom, duh. That's like $70 still. If I get an Ash Blossom, holy shit. That'll be awesome. And then I got, uh, I also got 10 packs of Code of the Duelist, the newest set. Special edition for this just came out. I'm a Star Boys, the big one you everyone wants to get. They're using with Palezoics. I have not seen it in action yet, but I trust it's good. Hopefully, I get a Firewall Dragon. This price has actually gone up. Trick Star Reincarnation is another good one I'd like to get a hold of in this. And then I got, what do I got here? Uh, it, there are two in each. So Twelve packs of uh, du legendary duelists, which is actually quite the fucking deal because there's some really good cards in here. Like Red Eyes Black Baby Dragon is quite the card in terms of people want it. People want the Red Eyes cards, so go like get a Red Eyes Slash Dragon. And I always dig through the garbage at the Walmart, and somehow I always find it. I'm like, okay, these are the last packs. I got two packs. A fusion enforcers. They still have some fusion enforcers. Like I go and buy them every time I go through there, like find the oldest packs available that are first dead. And somehow they always bring out a couple packs of fusion enforcers. So if I get an invocation out of one of these two packs, I'll be just insane. And then yes, one pack of Raging Tempest. They had one pack of Raging Tempest, so I bought it. Hopefully I can get I don't even know. There's nothing good in this anymore. I just bought it for Oh, Foolish Burial Goods. That's the good one. I want to get that one. That's a good pack, a good card to get. So, guys, let's see if Walmart... Walmart never lets me down. It's like Rick Astley, you know. Uh, uh, never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Yeah, that's a good song. You know, people make fun of it and like, oh, Rick Roll. I'm like, well, fuck it. I like that song. So... Tomorrow on the OTS, I'm really excited, and then on Sunday I've also got another tournament where I'm going to where it's a $40 entry fee. It's a special tournament, 16 players only. I'm one of the 16. It's going to be hype. It's going to be hype. So, guys, 
I'm going to head on down over yonder, right over there. I got to open all these up. That, that's going to take me like 20 fucking minutes. I got this beer. So, uh, like I said, we head over yonder. I'm going to open those things up. Going to get something really awesome. I know I am. That many packs, I got to get something. Oh. And, uh, anyways, guys, it's getting cold out. I go to work now in the morning. It's 40 degrees out here in Ravensdale. Yeah, I live up in the mountains. I get affected by that nasty way. It was pouring down rain when I woke up today. It was just like, God damn, just looking at that rain just coming down. So, guys, I will uh, get over there. And uh, so, though it's cold, but you know what? I think you know what I need. Do I need to yell this still? You guys know what's up. I'll do it. Get drunk! All right, let's get on in here. That only took me like a half damn hour to uh, open up all them blisters, but there they all are. How many packs is that? 10, 10, that's 20, and then 12, that's 32. 35 packs, I guess. So, uh, I'm going to start with this lonely pack of Raging Tempest. Guys, let me know what your favorite set of this is. Is it Raging Tempest, Fusion and Force, Legendary Duelist, Maximum Crisis, or Code of the Duelist? I'm going to tell you right now, mine's probably out of these Maximum Crisis. Just because I've got ass blossoms. Okay, here we go. Only sad, lonely pack of Raging Tempest. Symphonic Warrior Mix. People are using this and stuff now. Shirinui Sun Saga and Dragon Collar Magician. Did not get the newly banned damn old Broad Bull. Alright, come on, Invocation. I need that. Ugh. These Predaplan monsters are Fusion Substitute. Got Norton Ban. Fusion Gate, Predaplan, and Predaplan. Yay! Alright, last and best hope for damn old. See, some of these have security stickers on the back, so I ripped those off. Stupid blister packs. Oh, people are using this. No, they won't wait on my branch! Paradox Fusion. Mark of the Rose, Edge Imp Chain, and Fright for Kraken. That's actually a good one. I'm going to stick that down. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I'm sticking it down there. I'm going to read Fright for Kraken to y'all. The Kraken. Uh, once per turn, you can target one monster opponent control, send to the graveyard. This card cannot attack directly the turn. This effect is activated. This card making a second attack during each battle phase. Once per turn. At the end of the battle phase, this card battled. You can change this card to defense position. It's like a Dante effect there at the end. I don't know if it's worth anything, but we'll go with it. All right, here we go, Joey. Give me that red eyes, baby dragon. Armoroids, Sphere Karibo, Bonding Issue, and Super Vectroid Mobile Base, and a Bonding D20. I'm only going to put the Ultra Rares uh, down. I know last time I put the Supers, but this time I'm just going to put Ultras out of this pack. I don't know, just put Vectroids down. My god. Larry Fisherman 3, Sergeant Electro, which is an ultimate rare, believe it or not. Red Eyes Fusion, there we go, a Citadel Whale, and a Rage of Chiron Sue. Citadel Whale, remember this is the last one I needed to get to complete the Ultra Rare collection from this set? Man, it's like a Narwhal with a big fortress on its back, a Citadel, actually. All right, its effect is, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can tribute two Water Monsters, special summon this card. You can only use this effect as Citadel Whale, once per turn. This card is special summon. You can set one C stealth attack directly from your deck. Once per turn. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets one water monster you control. And no other cards. Quick effect. You can negate the activation if you do destroy that card. 2350 attack and 2150 defense. It's always weird when you see cards that have 50 attack and defense. Of course the big one right now is Masterpiece. I think there's less, still less than 10 monsters that have odd attack that don't end in 0 or 50. Like Barox. Bonding H2, Amazon is Village, Express Roy, and Amazon is Onslaught. What monster is that barking? Do we know? I don't think we're supposed to know. I think it's just supposed to be some random, some Japanese dude drew. By the way, I forgot to say in the Marvel's Capcom Infinite, I think the best character might be Jetta. Jetta's so good. He's so good. My team is Nemesis Jetta. <laughs> Water Dragon, Sphere Karibo, Amazon is Swordswoman, Bonding D20. Go ahead and take a look at that. Look at that healthy cleavage. 
I'm really surprised they never edited that artwork. The so, dad just leave it. Children won't notice. All right, Red Eyes Fusion, Inferno Fire Blast, Legendary Fisherman, and another Citadel Whale! And a Megaroid City. Wow, two Citadel Whales? Well, you know what I need to do? Drink this beer. And read this wall of text again. That's my ritual. I got to read it every time I get the fucker. All right. Damn. If this card is in your hand or graveyard, you contribute two water monsters. Special summon this card. You can only use the effect of Citadel Well once per turn. If this card is special summon, you can set one C stealth attack directly from your deck. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets one water monster you control and no other cards, quick effect, you can negate the activation if you do destroy that card. That's a double Citadel Well. Now I get a play set here. Give me three Citadel Whales. I want it. Give me that third whale. What do they call a whole bunch of whales? A pod? Give me a pod of them whales. Cyberdark Horn, Fire Blast, Bonding H20, and Bonding D20. It's actually H2O, D2O, but whatever. <laughs> All right, Wonder Balloons, Sphere Karibu, Oxy Get On, and oh, okay, that's a good one. Cyberdark Cannon. There we go. Gear Freed, the Red Eyes, Iron Knight. I'll take it. Woo! That's actually a really good one. This one's actually got in value, I believe. Uh, once per turn, if either player equips and equip cards to this card, you can destroy those equip cards. Then you can destroy one spell or trap card your opponent controls. Once per turn, you can send one equip card you control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard. Then target one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. It's actually pretty good. Not that great, though. Some people are running three, and that's just way too many. Oh, packs sticking together. Thanks, Walmart security. It's probably not even Walmart. It's damn old Konami doing it. Cyberdark Keel, which is actually a pretty expensive ultimate rare, 20 bucks. Vecroid, Red Eyes Beat Dragon, Water Dragon Cluster. Man, that's beautiful artwork. That Japanese guy knew what he was doing when he drew that. That's, that's gorgeous. And Bonding D2O. All right, still got a few packs. These legendary duelists. Looking forward to legendary duelists too, with Pegasus, Bandit Keith, and uh, Weevil. Cyberdark Horn, Sergeant Electro, Water Dragon, and another Water Dragon cluster and a Sea Stealth attack. Man, just look at this artwork. Isn't that gorgeous? Water Dragon cluster. So cool. Remember how broken Water Dragon was in the anime? It's like, holy shit. Yomi Ship, Amazon Swords of One, Cyber Edge, Red Eyes Retro Dragon, Bonding DHO. All right, just got two packs left of Legendary Duelist. I really like the Joey's on the front of this. Joey doesn't get enough respect in the anime. Leotar, Amazonus Village, Wonder Balloons, Vecroid Connection, and Amazonus Onslaught. All right, last pack, the Legendary Duelist. Can I get a Red Eye Slash Dragon? It's probably my favorite Ultra Rare out of this set. Gear Freedom, Red Eye's Black Dragon. There's Red Eye's Black Dragon. Yomi Ship, Amazon Swords, and Duty Ron, and Bonding DHO. Duty Ron. Water Tyrannosaurus Rex. How cool. All right, not bad. Three ultra rares out of 12 packs. That's what you expect, actually. That's a good ratio. All right, come on. Let's get a uh, an Ash Blossom. God damn, I'd love to get an Ash Blossom. I don't miss toweling. That's not what I want. Oh, I forgot these bird people are in here. Old bird monsters. Uh, Magician's Right Hand, Magician's Restage, and Literal Lusk Independent Nightingale. Artifact Vajra. Isn't Artifact getting more uh, support? I believe it is. Oh, man. I feel a sneeze coming on. Give me a second here. <coughs> oh, man. We washed that sneeze down with some beer. I felt it coming on a while ago. I'm like, oh, oh, and it didn't. It went away, but now it came roaring back. I've been oppressed. Man, it sucks that Subterra got that new Link Monster. It's absolute garbage. Well, Spiral gets their Link Monster, and it's so fucking good. Like, what happened? Subterra is getting more support, though. Uh, Phantom Spiral Grip, Pendulum Switch, and Supreme King Gate Zero. Hammer Kong, BF, Ladybug, and Supreme King Dark Worm. 
Huh. How about that? I'm really excited for Miles OTS. I hope I don't get myself too hyped up in case I start losing or something. Liralusk, Cataroost, the only bad Zodiac monster. Breakaway, Kaiser Sea Snake, BS Big Core, and Spiral Sleeper. Huh. This guy's really broken because if you equip the uh, fully armed to him, he, he can't be destroyed by card effects. Then you can use his own effect to destroy himself and then destroy two cards your opponent controls. But since he's unaffected by, he can't be destroyed by card effects, he stays on the field because he does not check. It's not like destroy spiral card, then destroy. It just destroys all three at the same time. And since it, it works, it, it gets around that. Scrap Kong, this kid's so sad. He's getting the Scrap Kong shirt. Ghost Beef, my god, it's been a while since I've seen this card. It's been like four months. Ghost Beef! I ate some beef today. Yeah, I went to Red Robin. It was pretty good. Nope, stuck together. Come on, Ash Blossom Dragonic Diagram. Don't let me down, Walmart. Don't let me down. Magician's Right Hand Spiral Mission Rescue, Kaiser Seasoning. Pendulum Switch and Metatron 12, the true Draco comb Combatant. Zephyr War, Phantom Spiral, Dark Worm. No card starting to see some play again is uh, that super rare card, Spiral Serpent. Uh, lets you add a worm type monster from your deck to your hand. People are using that in True Draco now since the ban list came out. Yeah, yesterday I beat. ABC, then I beat True Draco, then I beat Cosmo, then I beat True Draco. So I went through some True Draco still, even though I've been hit pretty hard on the ban list. Spiral Mission Rescue, Kaiser Sea Snake, Zephyr Providence, and Luralusk Assembled Nightingale. Man, I'm getting stumped. I'm getting stumped on these Maximum Crisis, starting to get scared. Come on, Walmart, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Walmart. Damn it, I've been going to you for years. People always attack Walmart, but I'm always defending the Walmart. I'm like, no, Walmart's a good organization. Phantom Knights of Wrong Magneteering. Planet Darlington Cobra. Man, this thing is pretty gross. Four Hall Coin Dragon and Fairy Tale Luna. What? No, Fairy Tale. Is Fairy Tale Luna in the OTS pack? I don't think so. I, I think that's Fairy Tale Sleeper and Snow. I know Snow's in it. But I think it's Sleeper's the other Fairy Tale. Oh, stuck together again. All right, come on. I only got like four packs of this left. Give me an altar or a secret for God's sake. What the hell's going on here? Onikaji. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's so weird. I've never even read this card. Wow. Kaiser Sea Snake, Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix. Yeah. For all Sky Magician and another Metatron 12, the True Draco Combatant. Oh no. Oh man. Three packs left of Maximum Crisis. This has never happened before. Come on, save the day with an Ash Blossom. That's what I need, an Ash Blossom. Give it to me. Give it to me. Phantom Spiral Assault, Familiar Possessed, Bujin Hariko, and dude, I got a play set of Metaltron 12, the true Draco Combat. I'm getting scared. I'm getting real fucking scared. Uh, Zephyr War. Getting terrified here. Drink some beer. Drink some beer to calm my nerves. Oh god. Two packs left. Come on, give me an ultra secret. I've been cursed. I got 11 packs of Code of the Duelist from locals and none of them had an ultra rare. Come on. Turquoise Warbler. <laughs> Down is Howling. Aerial Priestess. Oh, it is that one. It's the newly limited card. Oh, I didn't get an ultra. Okay, True King's Return. Oh my god. Ugh. Hang on here. Alright, everything's good. Oh my god. Alright, let's read. This is a, this is newly limited. It's been limited for a couple weeks now. Here we go. If this card is sent from the spell and trap zone to the graveyard, you can target one monster on the field destroyed. You can activate the following effects of True King's Return in the same chain. You can one true Draco or true King monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. Also for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon. During your opponent's main phase, you can immediately, after this effect resolves, tribute summon one true Draco or true King face, monster face up. You can only use each effect of true King's return once per turn. Alright, so I did get an Ultra. I still have a chance here to get an Ash Blossom or a Dragonic Diagram. Come on, Ash Blossom. Let it happen. Ash Blossom. 
Ash Blossom, Mild Turkey, Spiral Gear, Last Resort. Oh, no, I got back-to-back -back ultras, but this one's absolutely worthless. Majesty Maiden, the true Draco caster. And then I got another Ghost Beef. Did I get a Ghost Turkey? Mild Turkey? I don't think I did. I wouldn't have noticed him. That's such a weird-looking car. All right, this card's becoming more important because Ignis Heat's been down to one, which I don't remember Ignis Heat being played at more than a one of. I don't know. And then, of course, uh, Dynamite Knuckle. Dynamite Fighter is banned now, which is a huge blow to the deck. All right, to tribute some of this card face up, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap card you control instead of a monster. Once per turn during either player's turn, when an opponent activates a card or effect while you control this tribute, summon monster. You can add one true Draco or true king monster from your deck to your hand. I actually really like this card. I, I, I like that deck, except it was so broken. All right, here we go. Come on, Firewall Dragon. Co the Duelist. Newest set. Circuit Breaks still not out for another month. Or three weeks. It's officially used for play in a little while. Uh, Jack Wyvern, Defense Zone, chosen by the World Chalice. And Lee, right off the bat, get an alter. Lee, the World Chalice Fairy, Trickstar, Lily Bell. And Orwell Hy Hydralander. I don't remember that card. All right, let's read about Lee, the world. Is this card name offensive now because of Robert E. Lee? I don't know. i got to be careful saying it. Lee, the world chalice fairy. If this card is normal, special summon, you can add one world chalice monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one monster from your hand to the, or field to the graveyard. Add this card from your, to your hand. You can only use each effect of Lee, the world chalice fairy, once per turn. All right. There we go. Let's see if I can get a Vendred Reorigin. I get so many of those. It's like... Totally disgusting how many Vendred Reorigins I get. Boogie Trap. <laughs> That's supposed to be Virgil, isn't it? Why do they give Virgil different colors? Jane, Speedroid Passing Glider, Junk Breaker, Goki Rematch, and Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Beckham by the World Challenge, Ancient Gear Ultimate Pound, Wicked Acclimite Shalom Sabak. My god, what is that? Ugh, disgusting. Disgusting monster. Gross. Alright. It's like some darts would use. That's what it looks like. Like this big snake. Why haven't we gotten that big snake? Wasn't that printed in OCG? This big ass snake monster. Pulse Mines. Boogie Trap. FA Grand Circuit Pre. Goki Twist Cobra. Back to the front lines, which is hella good. Smile Universe. FA Downforce, or Highlander, and Gravity Lash, which I'm waiting for Gravity Lash to someday become a meta card. Because it's really good. I really like it. Target one face of the monster in the field. Lose attack equal to defense to the end of this turn. I mean, just damage step, and they're like, oh, and you flip that over, and they're like, oh, shit. Stuck together. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Chosen by the World Chalice. Oh, my God, that's hideous. Go, 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 Aristria and Dexia, Launcher Commander, Goki the Great Orger, and Supreme, Green, Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom. Tongue Twister, Supreme Rage, Wicked, ah, oh, gross. Transmission Gear. <laughs> Perform Ball, Trump Panda, that's extremely offensive, it's got Trump's name in it. People are pissed. I'm happy. Cops still stuck together. Trump's a good friend of mine. Sometimes I like to pretend he writes me letters. He tells me how cool I am. Air Cracking Storm. A little bit of a misprint on that card. Pulse Mines. Zombina. Oh, there we go. Ningrisu. The World Chalice Warrior along with World Legacy. World Chalice. And Treasure Panda. Ah, why do I keep getting this? So nasty. Here we go. Ningrisu. The World Chalice Warrior. <laughs> kind of looks like one of those new, uh, one of those new uh, Twilight Monsters. It really does. Two plus link monsters. If this card is linked, summon draw cards equal to the number of world chalice monsters this card points to. You can only use this effect of Ingrisu, uh, the world chalice warrior, once per turn. Once per turn, you can send one card from each player's field to the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you can special summon one world chalice monster from your hand. So basically, this card is draw three cards. I mean, that's what world chalice guys use it for. Just, it draws three. It's ridiculous. <sighs> draw three cards. Man, these are really stuck together. I guess they really do not want the new pack being stolen. Alright, Air Kraken Storm. 
Pulse Mind, Zombina, Jane, Trap Tricks, Mantis, and Blind Obliteration. I like the name of that one. That's cool. Supreme Rage is another good one. Beckoned by the World Chalice. I wonder if World Chalice is any better because Rescue Rabbit's at three now. It's got to be, right? I don't know. I'm not seeing any World Chalice. There's a whole bunch of Chain Burn and stuff in my locals and, you know, some of those cute decks like the Barrier Statue decks. The Barrier Statue deck got like third place yesterday at locals. Galaxy Worm, Backup Secretary, that's offensive. Junk Breaker, Goki Rematch, and DDD, Gust High King, Alex Xander, Treasure Panda. Stream Rage, ah, oh, God. Transmagician Gear. So how many good cards I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, see if I can't get a Firewall Dragon. I won a Firewall Dragon yesterday getting first place. I just, they were like, Oh, God damn it. They, they just, you know, were like, hey, what do you want? I'm like, Firewall Dragon, they handed it to me. Vendred Revenants, first one of Vendred card I got. Dark Wolf Brainwashing, DDD Wave High King Caesar. Get high with the Wave King. Treasure Panda, Supreme Rage. God, why am I getting this every fucking pack? It's gross. Stop. Wicked Acolyte Shalom Sabak. I don't want to see you anymore, dude. Leave my property. Get away from my family. Get away from my beer. All right, two packs left. Still hoping for a Firewall Dragon or a Trickstar uh, Reincarnation, I think it is. Vendred Revenants, Emergency Rescue, Rescue, Galaxy Worm, Break Off Trap Hole, Back to the Front. When a Link Monster links up and destroy all monsters on the field that are not linked. It's awful. It's terrible. This looks like Chun-Li and uh, Bo 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 or whatever his name is. Trump Panda, extremely offensive. I'm sorry you had to see that. All right, last best hope to get something really good. Uh, Firewall Dragon is probably the best hope I got. Uh, right now, the most expensive card, I believe, on top of my head is probably an Ingrisu. An Ingirsu, whatever his name is. All right, here we go. Firewall Dragon, this pack right here. DD Vice Typhon. I don't remember seeing that. Man, all of a sudden, I can get a single Vendred card, and now I've gotten three Revenants. Mercy Rescue, cute. Galaxy Worm, Lila, Twi Twilight Swarm, Enchantress, and Supreme King Dragon, Stern Venom, Good Ass Gravity Lash, and Crown by the World Chalice. So that's it for Walmart today. Uh, Walmart did kind of let me down a little bit. It, uh, I mean, it didn't. I mean, that's pretty good there. Uh, regardless, I, I like what I got. I especially like the Gear Freed and the Ningrisu. I wonder how much this is going for now. It was always five bucks, the True King's Return. It's probably like a dollar now, but, you know, it's uh, worth checking out. Fright Fur is probably one of the worst, probably the deck that was worst affected by Link Summoning, I think. I don't even know how you get that deck to work anymore. Uh, maybe Proxy Dragon. Maybe you, maybe you can go foo. It's probably have to do it. You probably have to go foo into Deco Talker. You know, go foo and then Link Spider, Link Spider, and then Deco Talker. It's probably about the only way I can think of. No, you can do Proxy Dragon. What am I thinking? You just do Proxy Dragon. Use the two Gofu tokens for Proxy Dragon and then uh, damn old... Uh, what should I call it? Um, Gofu into Proxy Dragon to the Eco Talker. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep watching this stuff, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. And you may notice that bell icon. For whom the bell tolls, so go ahead and click on that. And I'll let you know whenever I upload quality content. And you'll be able to check that out immediately wherever you're at. Like you're at the urologist office getting checked out for an STD. And you're like, hey, let me watch this guy in the woods, deep in the woods, drinking beer, open up Yu-Gi-Oh, acting like an idiot. Let me watch that. Uh, you know, right now, while well, I'm waiting to see if I'm going to die. Uh, you know, and then... Uh, if you could, like and share this. Share with your buddies. Say, look how dumb this guy is. Check this out. You won't believe how stupid this guy is. And, uh, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I know I don't get that many views, but if I get 30 views, I consider that a victory because, you know, I'm not famous or nothing. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a couple days. Oh, i got to drink this beer still. I still got a little beer left. Damn, that's good. Anyways, guys, catch you a couple days.